Welcome to Slim Fuji's Top 5 Best Arcs in One Piece. Number 5. Arlong Park. Arlong Park was the first major arc in One Piece which demonstrated the scale of storytelling that Oda was capable of reaching. This arc revealed the truth behind Nami's backstory and her heartbreaking servitude to the horrible fishman pirates Arlong. Arlong ruled over Nami's island for eight years beginning from the time he killed her adopted mother Belmer. Nami betrayed the Straw Hats during Baratie and stole their ship, the Going Mary, to return to her home island. She believed she could finally pay off Arlong and get him to leave her and her people forever, but he had intended to betray her all along. The Straw Hats eventually made their way to Nami's island and confronted her with the truth. They found out the truth of what she had been going through since she was a little girl and decided to take Arlong down themselves to protect her. Luffy ultimately defeated Arlong and destroyed the entirety of Arlong Park in the process. Nami's people were finally free and she chose to join Luffy on his voyage as his navigator to become a member of the greatest pirate crew that has ever existed. Number 4. Marine 4. Luffy was on Amla's on Lily when he noticed that the Viver Cardace gave him was burning away. He asked Boa Hancock to help him sneak into Impel Down to save Ace, and she of course agreed to help her newfound lover. Luffy did not make it in time to save Ace from Impel Down, and had to change his plans to save Ace from Marine Ford directly. Whitebeard and his fleet had already invaded Marine Ford in order to save his adopted son and second commander, Fire Fist Ace. Luffy and his wacky impaled down comrades eventually fell from the sky onto the battle already raging at Marine Ford. This made the scene even more chaotic than it already was. Luffy was eventually able to make his way all the way up to the execution stand and save his brother Ace at the last possible moment. Unfortunately, this arc still had a sad ending when Ace let himself be baited by Akainu smocking of Whitebeard instead of running away. Ace then threw himself in front of Akainu's fist to protect his brother Luffy and ended up getting fisted to death. He died in Luffy's arms, breaking Luffy's mind and opening the door for the growth Luffy got over the time skip and the second half of the series. Number 3. Skypea. A man's dreams will never die. Those were the iconic words Blackbeard told Luffy before he blasted off on the knock-up stream to the Sky Islands above. The going merry flying up the knock-up stream is one of the most unforgettable moments in the entirety of One Piece. The face-off between Luffy's crew and the fake god they found in the Sky Islands above is still groundbreaking to this day. Eno had declared himself the god of the Sky Islands and ruled them with an iron fist. His devil fruit and hockey combo allowed him to hear everything that happened in his kingdom and immediately punish anyone who even thought about rebelling against him. This barrier to freedom was something Luffy could not abide. He personally freed Skypea and the Shandians from Eno's wrath. We were able to see the city of gold in the skies and begin to get an idea of what the Void Century answers would have in store for us. Many people overlook or underrate this arc, but it's when Oda first truly started exploring how vast and grand the story of One Piece would ultimately become. Number 2. Wano. The current arc going on in the story of One Piece is the arc of Wano. This has already established itself as the longest and most important arc in the entire story so far. Act 3 of Wano alone is only a handful of chapters away from being longer than Dress Rosa, the previous longest arc, by itself. The Japan of the One Piece world was always going to be one of the most special arcs in One Piece, but Oda has truly outdone himself with this arc. This arc has connections to Ace, Luffy's deceased brother, multiple Yonkos, Zaro's lineage, and members of Gold D. Rogers' crew. We have seen flashbacks to Roger and Whitebeard's journeys and gone the bounties of all the Yonkos and even the former Pirate King himself. Luffy received the most massive power-ups he's ever got in the series so far. Advanced Armament Hockey, Advanced Conqueror's Hockey, and Awakening his secret mythical zone and fruit into Gear 5. There is still much more for Oda to show us in this arc, such as Kaido's full flashback and the true connection of Wano to the Void Century, which will likely push this arc to the top of the list. It's been said that Act 3 will never end, but as long as it actually does someday end, this will definitely end up as the best arc in One Piece. Number 1. Water 7 and Inislava. Until Wano proves it is worthy of surpassing it, the best arc in One Piece will always be the combo arc of Water 7 and Inislava. This story took place at two locations and many consider them to be separate arcs, but they tell one complete, indivisible story that is the best in One Piece so far. The saga began when the Straw Hats arrived at Water 7 looking to get a new ship. This led to the epic fight between Luffy and Usopp over the future of the crew's vessel. Then Robin was kidnapped by CP9, and the crew had to work together to try and save her from the world government. 
we also got many Soga King shenanigans that by themselves would make this a top one arc in the series. The crew ultimately invaded Enos Lobby and went toe-to-toe -to -toe for the first time against the world government of the One Piece world. Luffy declared war on the world government and Robin tearfully declared that she wanted to live. Luffy beat Luchi, unlocking both Gear 2 and Gear 3 during this arc to help him have enough strength to win. The arc ended with Going Merry coming back from the dead for one more ride to save the crew in their escape from the Buster Call on Enos Lobby. And if that wasn't enough, Luffy's grandpa Garp showed up at the end to say his dad was Dragon and shocked the crew. This arc truly was a high point in One Piece that few if any other manga series can even hope to reach. Check out this other top 5 video right here, right now, to find out what other peaks the amazing series of One Piece has reached. Thanks again. Fuji, out.